we have to do now is tap into that thing that Hallelujah. God has called Thank us you, to be. Jesus. Yes, Lord. And some say, well, I'm not sure. Well, then start lifting them up. Amen. Start lifting them up. Start yes. developing a relationship. Start praying daily. Start talking to God. Spend some time with God. everyone doing on today glory to god praise the lord we do thank god for his goodness and his mercy thank god for our guest elder um eldon t jones hallelujah the lord is really blessing him if some of you get a chance look up eldon t jones he is doing some good things um within the community but he's part of the billboard amen his his, his cd made it to the billboard so i don't have a lot of information on it but i was congratulating him on facebook so we thank god for him hallelujah how many know this is the day that the Lord has made? We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God. Amen. Before we go into prayer that the Lord would just bless his word, I just want to give honor to my husband on today. Thank God for Pastor January and all his endeavors that he do to make sure that we can be live on every Sunday and every Wednesday evening. Praise God. It's not an easy task, glory to God, but he's yet here. And one thing that we said to one another beginning of the couple of years ago, that we must be consistent in everything that we do. And so I thank God, hallelujah, for his consistency, even days when he don't feel like it, even days when he wanted to throw in the towel, but he kept going and God has been the push in his back. So I thank God and I honor my husband, Mervyn January on this morning. God bless you, babe. I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just welcome. Welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome to all those who are listening. It may be your first time, your second time, or you haven't been apart since we've been here. But nevertheless, whatever your status is, we welcome you. We welcome you. And we welcome you. Praise the Lord. I just want you to know that I feel good in my soul today. And I hope that somebody else can catch this synergy. Amen. Catch it, glory to God. Hallelujah, because God is worthy of all the praise. Have you ever had to just look back over your life, hallelujah, and see what God has brought you from? You look back, hallelujah, and then you get some joy in your spirit, hallelujah. Before you know it, you go to raising your hands, hallelujah. Before you know it, you go to clapping your hands. Glory to God, you get to pop a pound in your feet because there's been nobody but the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, who has brought us thus far. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, glory, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me, hallelujah. I can go on and on and on, saints, about the goodness of Jesus. He's been a constant friend, hallelujah. He's been a bridge over troubled waters, glory to God. He's been my... Uh, 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 water when I'm thirsty, hallelujah. He's been my bread when I'm hungry, glory to God. He's been my everything, hallelujah. And so I owe God praise this morning, hallelujah. And by now, I hope that you all have caught on and begin to think about what God has done for you. And I hope that right now where you're at, you're giving God praise and you're giving God glory because I can hear somebody say, well, wait a minute, first lady, you can't tell it like I can tell it. Let me tell you what God has done for me. Somebody said he delivered me from drugs, uh-huh. Somebody said he delivered me from domestic violence, uh-huh. Somebody said he helped me get myself together, glory to God. Somebody said I was ready to give it all Hallelujah. But God came in and rescued me. Hallelujah. Good, good. And so we thank God. Glory to God that we got a testimony that even the angels can't sing. Glory yes. to God. Because we understand that it's been God and God all by himself that has blessed us to come this far. Glory to God. Right where you're at in your homes. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Let's lift Jesus up. Glory to God. Father God, we bless you this day, God. We thank you, Lord, for this time of service, O oh God. Lord, to hear from what thus said the Lord, O oh God. Speak to our minds, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, if there's ever time we need you, we need you now, God. We're asking, O oh God, that you, Lord, would breathe on us, O oh God. Go into the homes of the souls that are watching right now, God. Straighten up some things that are crooked, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, move out some rough places, God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, 
Father God, we lift up our babies today. We lift up our children, oh yes. God. We ask that you would give them an appetite for you, God. Save our children, oh God. Save and sanctify them, God. Lord, we even lift up our brother Ron today, God. Our Don today, oh God. Lord Jesus, who's battling with different illnesses, oh God. But we know you as a healer, God. I ask that you would strip off your hand on brother Don today, oh God. Regulate his brain activity, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against seizures. We come against sicknesses. We come against chronic diseases in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would dry it up, God. Lord Jesus, those that are dealing with diagnosis from the doctor, cancer, God, arthritis, oh God, hallelujah, diabetes, oh God. Lord Jesus, you are the God that healeth, oh God. We ask that you would heal in the name of Jesus, oh God, and help us all, God. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And in all our ways, acknowledge you, God, and you shall direct our path in the name of Jesus. And it is so. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. I honor the Lord again. God has been my everything, saints of God. I can go on for hours just talking about what God has done for me. Hallelujah. But because of time, hallelujah, and because we want to make sure we hear from the Lord on today, I just want to talk to you from a subject today, hallelujah, lift Jesus up, amen. You see there on the screen here where it says lift up Jesus on our PowerPoint, and, and that's my goal today is just to lift up Jesus, hallelujah. And I want to encourage everyone to lift up Jesus, and there's some reasoning why we need to lift up Jesus. And let's go, hallelujah, to the verse um, we chose on today is John 12, meaning the 12th chapter of St. John's and the 32nd verse. And it reads as follows. It says, and I, if I be lifted up, I, hallelujah. He said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Now, we know that all men are not coming to God. Amen. So we're talking about the men that God will draw according to the sixth chapter and the 44th verse of John. Amen. God will draw people to him. But there is a lifting glory to God that Jesus said that if he just be lifted up, he would draw all men unto him. Jesus uh, began to make this statement as he was preparing the disciples that he must go and die on the cross, but he will arise. And he was talking to them about different issues and scenarios and situations that were going to take place when he leaves and goes to the Father. Glory to God. But he said, but if you lift me up, hallelujah, I'll draw you. No need to be scared. No need to be afraid because perilous times are coming. Right. But again, All if right. you lift me up, I'll draw you, glory to God. There's a place in God, hallelujah, where you are protected as long as you're lifting him up. Uh -huh. that's right, that's right. We always hear the clause that there is a shifting going on. I'm here to tell you today there is a lifting going on, hallelujah, Amen. and we are lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen. When you look at the dictionary uh, meaning of lift, it says, to raise to a higher position or level. Glory to God. And even in this hour, God is calling us to a higher position and he's calling us to a higher level as we lift him up. Oh, all right, come on. Woo, glory, glory to God. God. Work it out. And so here, we all know the times that we are living in now. We know these are perilous times. We know that we are hearing about wars and rumors of war. China is getting upset with the U.S. because we want to pr protect Taiwan. We've had all kinds of shootings. Just last Sunday, I believe, 70 people died in a church shooting and bombing. The gunman went in and shot people and then placed a bomb on the altar to blow up the church. What kind of satanic mess is this? But God said, if you lift me up, I will draw all men unto thee. Now, I just want to put some word on it really quick here. I want you to follow me in the book of Matthews, the 24th uh, chapter and verses 6 through 8. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. But when you say we shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, turn on CNN right now. I'm pretty sure they're talking about wars and rumors of wars. 
If you turn on the news, they're talking about things that are going on over in Israel and over in Ukraine and Russia and China. Rumors of wars. But Jesus said, be not troubled, for these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdom. Now you see it. That's the word. That's not me. That's not CNN. That's not NBC. That's the word of God. He said, and kingdoms against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Oh God. Woo we Are we experiencing famine? And pestilence? And earthquakes? In diverse places? All these are the beginning of sorrow. What are we doing as people of God? So I laid in my bed on Thursday and Friday and I said, Lord, what am I going to talk about? And all day Friday, it seemed like as I was sleeping, every time I wake up, I would hear the Lord say, draw. If I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto thee. And I kept saying, yes, Lord, draw us, God, draw us, God. And I would go back to sleep and then I would hear it again. And he said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto thee. Because people are scared. People are devastated at the times that we are living in. And it's not even quite the end. It's just the beginning of sorrow. Sorrow, that's right. Come on. When we look at Make the famine that's that right. are taking places here, when, when there's a shortage on formula, when there's a shortage on meat, when you go to the grocery store and you don't even know what, uh, what, what to buy because things that you went to get, it's no longer there. Russia is causing a big issue right now with wheat and with oil. Look at the gas prices. And we're saying never in our lives as we sing this. Never. And I began to look on the internet and I began to look at the empty shelves. My husband and I, we went to shop grocery shopping last week and I, we went for a couple of things. They just didn't have it. And normally the stores would have it. So you look here and see how it's getting bare. Never in our lifetimes did we ever see that. They was always restocking and stocking. Just a couple, what, a year ago or two years ago when COVID hit really bad, what happened? Ship was out there on the water because there was no one to work. We had ordered uh, some furniture. <laughs> and Saints, we ordered it back in August. Amen, that's right. It's just now coming today. <laughs> Did I say today? Today. Yeah, almost a year. Almost a year. Look at here, the meat. You see that? Some of you guys are I already know. I've been to the store. I've been to Winko. I've been to Safeway. I've been to Kroger's. Whatever uh, store or grocery store you go to, even Walmart, Wally World, Target, Target. Things are looking pretty slim. But didn't God just tell us back up here? Did he just tell us right here? He said, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes. Now, we didn't even mention the monkeypox. What in the world is the monkeypox? Pestilence, famine, diseases, they're coming. But guess what? God warned us, but he said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto thee. Now, my job here is to let you know. My job here is to let you know that if you begin to pray, and if you begin to seek God's face, come on, that's right. That He will begin to lift and He will begin to draw people unto Him. That's right. God is looking for a people that will draw, that will encourage people to come to church, that will encourage people to seek Him. Jesus said out of the Message Bible, out of John 12, 32 and 33. He said, Jesus said, the voice didn't come for me, but for you. At this moment, the world is in crisis. Now, Satan, the ruler of this world, will be thrown out. And I, as I am lifted up from the earth, will attract everyone to me and gather them around me. He put it this way to show how he was going to be put to death. So he wanted everyone to know that, yes, I'm going to the cross. Yes, I'm dying for your sins. 
Yes, it's going to get terrible. It's going to be troubled times. But if you lift me up, I'll draw you. If you lift me up, I'll protect you. If you learn to intercede and pray one for another, I will say. Pastor quoted the scripture over in Jeremiah 33. He said that if you call unto me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things to come. But people are so disruptive and people are so um, rude these days. And people are so offended by the gospel of Jesus Christ. People are saying, what? What can really help us? Because I don't have any food. What can really help us when I'm driving down the street and I'm seeing homeless people on every side of me? What am I going to do? What? Why is Jesus allowing people to get shot up? Our babies, 19 children dead. What did they do, our innocent little babies? But Jesus is saying, if you lift me up, I will draw you. People are trying to make it make sense. But unless you are in your word and have a relationship with God, it will be a mystery to some. Now, I'll just give you a couple of more statistics. It says there have been 27 school shootings this year, 2022, even before the first quarter or the, set, the first half of the year started. It was 27 school shootings. There have been 119 school shootings since 2018. When Education Week began tracking such incidents, the highest number of shootings, are 34, occurred last year. There were 10 shootings in 2020 and 24 each in 2019 and 2018. Now, we know there's been way more shootings around the world and around the United States, but I'm just taking this from a couple of uh, states here. And when we begin to look at Lord Jesus, why? But we that are saved don't even have to ask why. These are perilous times. These are times where these things are going to happen. The world is getting colder and colder. The Bible even says over in Isaiah, that says that what was once bitter, now they'll say sweet. And what was sweet, they'll say it's bitter. They even say that what is good is evil. And what's evil is good. Society has changed so much to the point where we have people now that just want to be identified as they. Doesn't matter that they were born a male. Doesn't matter that they were born a female. Come it's on. just they want to be identified as they. Come on. And you begin to say, Lord, how is it that that even this makes sense? Excluding God. Come on. How is it that it even makes sense? Come on. Yes, Pastor, they've excluded God out of their lives and say that I am inhuman and I can do whatever I want to do. And if I decide to dress like a woman, although I'm a man, it's okay. And if I decide to dress like a, a man, even though I'm a woman, it's okay. I can do whatever I want to do as long as I don't hurt myself. The devil is a liar. Come on, preach it. This is not from God. And then we who are saved, we're told that we have to acclimate to it. That we have to adjust to this thing. And God have mercy because if we keep it real, we have adjusted. We have seen that the new normal is man with man and woman with woman, even on TV shows. Mm. We even watch Christian TV shows and we see it. And we say, Lord, what in the world is going on? Saints, we got to start lifting Jesus back up. We got to start lifting him up because I believe that God can change the hearts of those who want to be called they. I believe that God can change the minds of those who have gone in a pathway that's leading to uh, damnation. Come on. But all we have to do is begin to pray and lift Jesus up. Amen. Make sure you're not being selfish in your prayer time, but make sure you're calling out those who you know that need to be saved. We have a whole community of people that need to be saved. That's right. That's right. And it's not just our family members, but it's our co-workers. We must lift Jesus up. And if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto thee. Jesus said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord 
shall be saved. Henceforth, those who are drawn are all that do in fact come to Jesus. They come to him because God has opened up their heart and taught him. That's how we got here, because God opened up our heart and allowed us to come to him. Amen. Now we're asking and praying, Lord, open up my sister's heart. Open up my brother's heart. Open up my co-worker's heart that they may come to you, Lord Jesus. For after all, God, you're willing that none should perish, but all should come to repentance. Amen. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous except God. But if we would just repent of our sins and begin to lift up Jesus, we will see change come. Amen. Come on. Where is your faith at in God on today? Change will come. I heard one choir put it like this. They said, how to reach the masses. Men of every birth for an answer. Come on, come on. Jesus gave the key. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. They went on to say this old world is hungry. For the living bread, we ought to lift Jesus up for all men to see. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, then I will draw all men unto me. Down in the valley, while on my knees, I asked my Jesus, carry please. He promised that he'll take care of me if I will lift him up. For he said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. He said, I'll be your father. I'll be your mother. I'll be your sister and your brother. I'll bring you joy to your soul. When I am lonely and when I'm sad, Jesus comes and makes me glad. He is the dearest friend I've had. And I want to lift him up. That he may draw all men unto me. Saints of God, there is a lifting on today. God is saying, will you lift him up? Come on, that's right. Somebody said, I'm here today, so I'm lifting him up. And, and thank you. Thank you. But there's some times in your personal area, your personal space, when Jesus said, I need you to lift me up. There's some times when he said, I need you to click off the TV and come and lift me up because your daughter needs to be saved. Your son needs to be saved. Your teachers that are teaching our kids need to be saved. We need to be praying for our schools. Lord, cover our schools. We're tired of these shootings, oh God. Cover our churches. We're tired of these shootings. Yes, cover our moms, oh God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, because what we're lifting you up, oh God. Yes, Lord. We're blessing your name. He said, "At everything that has breath, praise the Lord." So, who should lift up Jesus? Everybody. Everybody that has breath should lift up Jesus. Somebody said, "What shall lift up Jesus?" Again, everything that has breath shall Amen. lift up Jesus. Somebody said, how do I lift up Jesus? By calling on the name of Jesus. By giving to him the praises that are due his name. Amen. He said he inhabits the praises of his people. Well, what do you mean when he says he inhabits the praises of his people? Well, every time you praise and call God, he comes down and he sucks with you. And he talks with you because you're giving him the praise. Just the fruit of your lips, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. Father God, we thank you because there's none like you, God. Whom shall we liken you unto, God? For there is no God like our God. Father, for whom shall we take counsel with? God, because you didn't take counsel with nobody. God, you just spoke it into existence and called it good. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So whom shall we liken him unto? God created heaven and earth. He created man and woman. Bless him for those things. Bless him because he spared your life. Bless him because it wasn't you and your child that you're burying right now. But the people still need to be comforted who lost their children. The people still need to be comforted who is crying and will never be the same again because their baby died at 9 years old, 10 years old, 11 years old. We got to pray, saints. Prayer is vital. 
Let me let me say it like this. We need prayer more than we need breath. Amen. Prayer is vital. When the Lord talks about these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall only recover because we are praying, saints. Because we are lifting up the name of Jesus, not when the, the, the diagnosis come in, but before it comes in, we're praying. Before that person gets sick, what we've been praying. We have built prayers up in our bank so when the time comes, we can take withdrawals. Woo, glory to God. We can withdraw our prayers because we've been building them up. Pie be lifted up, I withdraw all men Hallelujah. unto thee. Thank you, Jesus. Why lift up Jesus? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because Jesus loves us. John 3 and 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you're going through some things right now and you don't know how you're going to make it through, if you're having relational problems, you're having physical problems, mental problems. I dare you to call on Jesus. I dare you to lift up Jesus. And don't stop there when he makes a way, but keep on lifting him up. Man. Jesus is for us, say. This is why we're here, because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. And he knew you. He said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Can you imagine? Just think about that. Just think about that. Think about you have a baby in your belly, but you really don't know your child until it comes out and starts showing you all different type of personalities. <laughs> <laughs> but God said before he knew us, before he even formed us, he knew what we were going to be. Amen. So all we have to do now is tap into that thing that Hallelujah. God has called Thank us to be. Jesus. Yes, Lord. And some say, well, I'm not sure. Well, then start lifting them up. Man. Start lifting them up. Start yes. developing a relationship. Start praying daily. Start talking to God. Spend some time with God. This is Good Ground, Save to Serve Ministries. Has been around for eight years, and we are still yet pushing forward in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We're entering into our ninth year as of March of this year. We've started our ninth year of ministry, and we thank God. And for everything that we've ever needed, God has provided it. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for that. There are multiple ways that you can give. The first, of course, as we all know, is our, by our cash app cash tag, which is dollar sign STS Ministries. The second way is on our website where you can just select online giving. The third way is using a paypal.me link for Save to Serve Ministries. And of course, for people who say, I want my own personal paper trail, then whoop, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Checks and money orders made possible to Save to Serve Ministries, Post Office Box 86835, Portland, Oregon, 97286. And remember that your confidential information will never be shared with anyone outside of this organization.